Okay guys, Ramos Sanchez here. So, some progress on my hollow chest table uh, following the, the Jarex uh, Builders Group. So, I decided to put a, a light coat of primer because I was going to bondo the outside because the Sonotubes are wrapped cardboard and that's how they're made. And I already put resin on the inside and the outside. It's very sturdy. Uh, I could probably use another coat, maybe resin, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So then I decided I was going to use some glazing putty instead of Bondo to kind of fill the lines. And you can see right here, I started, I did a crappy job. I was just testing it out. And although it's going to work uh, either with the glazing putty or the Bondo, I decided that that's going to be a lot of work. I got to go all the way around it. So somebody suggested on the, the Jarek uh, Builders Group to get plastic. So they sell the Shizo Styrene and I went to a fast sign store and they're like $50 for the sheet. Luckily they had a spare piece and it was cut and it was perfect. It's almost the right size and it only cost me $10. So instead of using glazing putty and try to fill every one of the seams, I do have to resign all this now because uh, I'm going to... Put it on with some contact cement. I have some straps, and uh, if you ever build an R2D2 or a droid, astromech droid, uh, they do wooden frames and they wrap it with sheet styrene, and then the contact cement bonds to it. So, but the directions for the contact cement. This is what I bought today. Reading it says uh, if it's been painted or something, you need to resand it. So I'm gonna resand all this uh, as good as I can. Remove all the blemishes, and then. Coated with uh, contact cement and then the sheet styrene. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lightly sand it on the inside put the contact cement. The good thing about this sheet that is flexible enough, I'm only using one hand, so excuse me here, but it will wrap around, around the two. It is perfect length, if you can see right there. Uh, I do have a base that I 3D printed. So I only have to only need this much area down here because the base is going to go there and the plastic is going to wrap around it. And then when I join the two seams, I mean, I'm going to have to cut the plastic a little bit, but I only have to either putty or bondo or glazing putty, whatever I use, that seam only. And it's going to go on one side and I could probably put it at the back so if it doesn't look perfect. I can easily hide it, but it's going to be harder to hide all these lines with the filler putty if I don't do a good job because all around the two. So uh, wish me luck. Uh, this was suggested in the, the Jari uh, Builders Club on Facebook to try it. So luckily I was able to find a spare sheet of uh, styrene and it's flexible enough. It's going to bend. It's not going to crack. And that's going to be my next step. So. Follow me uh, on, on the forum there and the, the Jarry Builders Club here on uh, YouTube if you want. And I'm going to be posting video updates little by little. I won't be back in my hometown for another two weeks, so I won't be able to show you once we put it together for a while. But uh, progress is coming. Great ideas, guys. Thank you.